What's going on guys? We're going to do a little bit of a different video today. I wanted to share you guys some lessons I learned uh, harvesting my potatoes. So this is the first year harvesting potatoes, digging them in ground or, or growing them in ground. So previously what I've done is growing them in buckets and I've had some pretty good yields doing that as well. But um, so initially now I've got the, you guys can see I've got the uh, uh, time lapse footage and you'll see about halfway through I switch from utilizing the potato fork and i start using um i start uh digging through by hand so for one you know after my first couple of years doing it in the buckets i learned how to tell when to harvest the potatoes and i just threw all that knowledge away for some reason this year because it felt like it was too early um, when the tops died back uh, i waited a couple weeks after that to actually harvest and now i should have stuck with my initial gut instinct uh when the top stop back that's that's when i should have uh, harvested you'll see if you pay attention to the video i throw some of these out uh, some of them are definitely rotten and i'm sure harvesting them a couple weeks early would have been good right there uh, you'll see one of the problems right now with using the potato fork is my ground is not i haven't worked the ground enough it's not salt enough so when i hit that potato fork underneath the mound the ground isn't soft enough to where I can't get under the potatoes. So I end up sticking a bunch of these potatoes. And so for long-term storage, you know, so some of these I, I've gotten boxes and I'm just going to try to store for a few months in a cold, dark place. You can't do that once you puncture the potato. Once the potato's damaged, uh, you, you have to freeze it or eat it or, or something like that, can it? So you'll see here, I puncture a lot of them. So I did this one row and then uh, you'll see pretty shortly you'll see me switch over to doing it by hand so yeah not as fast doing it by hand but uh yeah, i'm trying <laughs> trying to save some of these potatoes so we ended up with with, with a few boxes you see those boxes there i probably fill up three boxes about that size not bad uh, i definitely uh, could do better for one i can space these closer together um, that's one thing i've learned too with a lot of my crops is actually i can actually space the stuff closer together um and another thing too I've learned is if it shows any sign of starting to go bad whatsoever, I, I was initially I initially thought, well, if I catch it early enough, uh, it'll be fine. No, once it starts going bad, you got to throw it out because it's gonna rot. So I've had to pick through my potatoes a few times, pick out the rotten ones. But um, yeah, you'll see here I'm on my hands and knees trying to make sure I, oh, I must have decided to use potato fork for I don't know something happened I guess. But for the most part, I'm using my hands and knees. Um, even then, I damaged some. And, you know, no big deal on the damaged ones. We just cut them up. I put them in the freezer or I use some of them. Uh, one thing to note, too, uh, if you're going to try to store these, do not wash the dirt off. So uh, there's a protective layer on the outside of the potatoes, and that's necessary to, uh, to store them. So I just got them in those boxes, basically, inside the house. Eventually, the plan is to get an insulated and solar-powered shed. So have a solar system, run AC, insulate it. Keep it at a reasonable temperature. Nothing, uh, you know, nothing crazy cold, but um, that would be my storage locker kind of for. Because I've looked into it, I don't really think it's feasible for me to to create a uh, a root cellar. So this this is, I think, this is what I'm where I'm at is, is using uh, or is building that uh, that shed. But you can see here. Um, oh, now I remember. Now I remember what I was doing. Okay, so I would go through with the trowel and find potatoes stuff to be careful i didn't stab them once i thought i got them all then i would go through the rest of that dirt pile with the uh, potato fork just to make sure but uh hey i just wanted to kind of give you guys an update this is how my potato harvest went this year um thought you guys might enjoy it uh stay safe stay prepared